Well, look, I think that's right. This is clearly somebody who has gone into these previous, uh, and he has done marathon sessions up here on Capitol Hill. I think, obviously, the most interesting thing about his most recent set of testimonies, he showed uh, he's not infallible. He made a not insignificant mistake uh, that, of course, was a part of all of the run-up to what we eventually saw uh, with the president with the firing. Now, I think that the focus tomorrow, uh, and I want to point to, to three people uh, in particular, two uh, Republicans and one independent, that I think are the people to watch when we come under this, uh, when we get to the point where he is being questioned. I think, look, Republicans that might be sympathetic to the president, they're going to want to focus on unmasking, on some of these other issues. Uh, I think it's more like they're going to want to have a conversation about something else. What both Republicans who are interested in getting to the bottom of this, uh, or at least are more open to not doing exactly what the president wants them to do, uh, include Marco Rubio, for example. You remember this was not in the Intelligence Committee, it was uh, in the Foreign Relations Committee, but he very sharply questioned, and these are the, the three people we want to talk about, very sharply questioned Rex Tillerson on Russia. He ultimately backed down and voted him out of committee, but he's somebody you really want to keep an eye on. James Lankford, uh, he's a senator from Oklahoma. He's quieter. His volume tends to be a little bit lower, but he's made uh, a very significant impression on leadership in a short amount of time. Uh, and then you have Senator Angus King, who's an independent from Maine. And uh, you might remember that he made some news with James Comey uh, several months ago. Honestly, Nicole, it feels like years ago, <laughs> but <laughs> pushing him on Hillary Clinton. So I, I think those are three people you really want to focus in on as these hearings start to unfold. And